beast, my beast, starring Raxin. What's up, guys? San7 here, and this is kind of a behind-the-scenes look at a beast, my base. What I do when I initially log on to account. Well, I've already built the base, and as you can see, it's a new design, one that is quite effective for I and J. Now, really. My goals here, the first thing I do, of course, is I'm going to check out the heroes, talk to the guy, see what he needs, see what he wants done, or her, and you can see, well, a talent reroll. One thing is, I'll throw one at it right now, but no. Um, when I see this, 25%, I do not like to roll talents whatsoever. I don't like to roll heroes. I prefer to purchase my gems on those days and then roll afterwards. So, one of the things I'm noticing, okay, might at... 41,297, and of course the next title, 45,293, or 45,9,23, and that's what, around 4,600 might that we need to grab. So I want to assess how much that's going to cost resource wise, honor badge, shards, etc., and I'll show you how that's done as well. But let's go ahead and take a look at the altar and get that started because I want to see what we can do. First thing I'm going to look at is. All right, open spots, do I have some? Yes, four open spots. There's four open spots because you got daily rewards, like today, you can see right there, times two. You gotta have two open spots. So I could add four legends onto that by rolling, and that's a way to gain a ton of might. Now, the next thing I'm gonna look at is how many level 60s I got. And that is 25 level 60s, and that's 250,000 honor badges. Well, we got 229. We can always gain more honor badges very quickly because the next thing I'm going to look at is in the warehouse. Well, how much do I have? And then I need to look at the main heroes and should I sell? Should I not sell? And there are a lot of factors that depend on that, but we can just take a look real quick. And that's 53,000. And that's 60,000. So, okay, we got 110 there. So, really, it's 340,000 potential honor badges to work with right off the bat. Okay, so that means I can take those 25 legendaries to level 80. So, I will do that. That's going to be 2,500 might, give or take. So, what, what can I do next? What am I looking at next? Things I can instantly grab my quickly. Well, the next thing I do is I'll scroll through every single hero, and what I'm looking for is, okay, one of nine. Well, to take that to two of nine, it costs 100 shards. Go ahead and take Thunder God there right now. You can see, just need to buy three of these. There's 90. And we're going to be out of spot, or are we out of spot? I do not know. It has been a long day. Yay! That's really nice. I'm not rolling heroes until I do all this. But you can see right there, we're going to auto add 2,000. And boom, you can see, might up by 59. Each level is 59. So that means for 100 shards, I can grab 59 might. And now I've already taken a look at this, and I have 24 heroes that I can do that for. That's quite nice. And so let's see 24, 59. Well, that's 1400 on top of the 2500 we got so we're looking at 3900 might that leaves us about 700 might short so where are we going to find the 700 might well the next thing is honor badge wise how much all right let's see nine stars three nine star heroes a lot of heroes on the way to nine stars now in my opinion, if there is a hero you absolutely need to get to 9 stars because it's going to get you past the next wave of HBM or it's going to get you, you know, the next big spot in the arena, that's what you're focused on, then save the honor badges for the heroes. Otherwise, if you can grab that might title right now, I suggest doing it. Not, you know, quest rewards along with might you can see right there it's an extra 500 honor badges a day it'll end up paying for itself very quickly along with hero expeditions now 
This account is fully capable of going through R10, and I unfortunately lost the gameplay of probably the most epic grinding of Hero Expeditions ever. I lost all my, I lost Druid, and this is probably the most epic Druid of all time with that Bulwark. It's so sick. You'll see it in a bit. But after losing him in R1, I was in trouble because there are no other Druids that are even close to being able to support the team. All the way back here, we got some level 60s. Then I dropped Spirit Mage. Then I dropped Minotaur. But I made it through R10. Of course, not all 100%ing. Actually, no 100%ing. All just grinding it out, but I got there. Used, I think, all but four heroes in the entire altar. So this account can raid like a champ. So far, HBM without garrisons, it's two for two. Absolutely zero problems farming J, no garrisons. So I don't think that getting a hero to nine stars right now is absolutely just necessary next. That's what you should do. All right, so well, now we have 700 might. We got to find 700 might. And building-wise, you're not going to gain a lot of might. I'm not even going to look at that. The two things that will gain might are magic and what do we got? We got anything leveling? We do not. And we can start something leveling if we have enough gold. We do not. But with my luck on gold drops, well, there we go. We can take disaster from two to three, and let's do it. So disaster two to three, it's not going to give a ton of might, but if you're curious on exact numbers, uh, you can look at Wikipedia, but it really isn't exact. They're constantly wrong when it comes to magic, but... Going from 2 to 3, it, it, around 100 might, 75 might, something like that. So you don't gem it. You wait it. You, that's not something you gem. Next, you want to look at troops. What do we got on troops? Okay, shotgun dwarves. And according to Wiki, it's 300 might. I don't trust them. I'm going to put 250 for that. Like I said, no, just, nah, don't trust them. All right, so that's 450 might we're going to say that we need left. Where do I get 450 might? Well... There's one way, using gems, of course, you take heroes that are sitting at 1 of 5. You can see, all right, 356 on that might right now. We're going to keep that. Beautiful. We just grabbed 40 might, 396. Every level of the talent grabs might for you. And I know that there are 24 heroes in that, uh, nope, not 24 for that. What do we have? Uh, da, 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 minus three, minus six, nine, 25, 16, 15 heroes that are sitting at one and nine and getting to two and nine is not expensive at all. So we can just take 16, multiply it by, t by 20. Um, so we're looking at 320 right there and that's going to take us down to 130 might that we need. And for the last 130 might, really, it's going to be taking a druid from level 80 or a pumpkin duke from level 80 to level 100. Having that second druid is crucial, like today, the situation I ran into. So to start off, let's go ahead and start uncapping heroes. And I always start by the heroes that, well, I'm going to want to use. And maybe we'll get lucky. Well, I'll take it. Anything at 2 of 5, I'm just keeping. Moving on to the next one, but we are upgrading. We're going to run out of gold soon. So we got two right there. And let's grab another druid. Want one that I can roll a talent on. Okay, we can roll this one. Okay, I will take it, and I will upgrade him. There we go. Let's try a TG. Whoop. Nope, nope, nope. Already got a Pumpkin Duke at 80. Because TG's another one you want to bring up. He will save your ass. And give me a rewrite. Oh, come on. Don't do it to me now. Don't. Might as well take it. There we go. I will take that. Grab the 20 might. And I'm out of gold. Okay, so 12,000. I do want to take at least one more up. So not to waste... There we go. Let's go back and find another TG.
Same one. Okay. Boom shakalaka. Now, we got to throw them in the towers. And it's kind of a pain in the ass. There's a way you can use the hero bases to find it. But the simplest way to find out which one's capped, which one's not capped, is to just dump one experience book on them. And what am I doing? There we go. If I can hit the right one. Boom. Okay. So now every level 60 that doesn't have the star lit up I'm just going to go ahead and make a level 61 so I know which one to put in the tower. Okay. That'll work. We got Druid. We got Thunder God. And I want to make sure there's... Okay, so we grab those three, and let's go ahead and dump them in the garrisons. And the last one. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, so that's just three. Really, I'm going to want all towers sitting up there. And I noticed there was a ninja at level 100 uncapped. I'm going to chunk them in there. There's no reason not to at this point right there and the paladin at 117 i mean we take a look but going from 117 to 120 it's 130,000 experience really it's going to be wasting it towards getting this might title in a day and really that's my goal is to get it and basically when the magic ends on that timer that's when i want the might title so i'm going to hold off on that but the ninja for now i can at least grab a few might uh for 45,000 you know, it's five might. Every little bit helps. Really does. So, okay. Looks like we're set up. And in each camp, I'm running 30 guardians. And the defensive setup, really, the design. You notice that this lane that's coming out, this is the one that's making them walk really long. And that's because these two buildings right here, as you can see, where the town hall is and where the hero base is, it's just a bit longer. And when Spirit Mage sits right there, there is not a hero that can target him. That is out of range no matter what level the hero base is. Not until that is gone will the backside hero hit. And on this side, it's shorter simply because when Spirit Mage comes in at that, well, the backside hero right here over here at Cupid is going to absolutely eat him alive. Or if they spawn over here and come in, then both. Yeah, it's just ugly. This, this account is an HBM just beast. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and run into Jay right now. And boom, Charlotte. Let's go. Oh, great. I hate it when they split off like that. And I'm trying to, I'm looking at it. And one of the things I did was make sure that everything was evenly spaced to prevent that. Because if Thunder God splits off on his own like that, you're just done. Okay, so they're coming in right here. And wow, the dragon is going to get Spirit Mage. That is is nice and i believe it's the angle spirit mage came in and that is why i have that building right there see if we can repeat that but we're gonna have to wait till mr shotgun dwarf finishes over here come on luckily i do have the guardians to kill him come on come on what you want son uh-uh no 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 gotta love guardians saving your ass on the stragglers j2 and okay the only issue on J2 when it spawns in the corner like that is, well, it's going to screw up Spirit Mage. Spirit Mage is going to have a wall of thopters first and get to swing away on that. But we'll see what we can do against it with this squad, Thunder God, Six of Nine, the Dragon, and Dragon Prox game over. That's really the way it works. But you can see Spirit Mage still alive, and oh my god, I'm jumping walls. I don't like that, and I use a... See how it's kind of cornered in? I, I do it to shorten it. So it's... I can make it longer, basically, before they start breaking three thick. Now that's one that I'm going to have to pull back. Because I do not want Thunder God jumping walls. So I do prefer ranged heroes on that side. But you can see the backside hero going after Spirit Mage as usual. And we're going to end this way very quickly. Goodbye. Now, this account has a number of benefits towards farming J and... The dragon is definitely one of them, and do not hit Pumpkin Dude. Thank you. But 
Thunder God being six of nine and the Bulwark Druid. I mean, that Bulwark Druid is so sick. Because if you don't know, Pumpkin Duke, please. Oh, no! Losing Pumpkin Duke is bad. That is something on my account on J, I'm usually done. But, well, this has Maltonica. Maltonica is an HBM monster. You can see Druid's Bulwark right there. Two shots, Spirit Mage is dead. So, now, yeah, we've lost Pumpkin Duke, but you can see right there, well... Oh, no, what's going on? There we go. I've got a stun coming in, and watch Spirit Mage is dead. Bye! Yeah, it's it's. I don't need Pumpkin Duke here. Ooh, they proc. They're Pumpkin Duke proc. That might be problems. I don't know. We'll see, but... Thunder God. Oh, my God. Dragon and Druid. Oh, come on. Dragon and Druid versus Maltonica. Dino. Oh, we got the Dino versus the Dragon! Who's gonna win? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, man, this is close. This is close. This is close. Take him out, baby. Take him out. Yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. 516,000. Oh, wow. 649,000. The biggest drop I've ever had. That was friggin' awesome. Okay. And I will say, yeah, that's pretty damn nice. Okay. Now, let's take a look at this and the quest. Because one thing at 45,000 is... You unlock the last level quest. Now, stopping at 45,000, you're still not getting as many experience points as you could if you keep going. I don't know where the cap is. I know as my might increases, I continue to get more honor badges for everything. And you can see there that, well, I got seven of the books. of the, Or was it eight of these? Eight of these. Let's see. How much is eight worth? 3,200. Okay, they're 400 piece. So that's 3,200 honor badges, not to mention however many of the blue, and it's something around, it's about three, I, I think you're getting about six to 8,000 uh, honor badges per book, per quest, and if you do two quests a day, I mean, you're looking at more than 10,000 plus what's already there. So you can start doing the math, and if you're really active on quests, you're looking at more than 20,000 honor badges a day in quest. So quests are extremely important. That is why might is important. Now, let's see what else we got to do here. And not for another 29 minutes, but might is up to 4160. And we can go ahead and take a look and see what it did to the guys in the towers. You can see, well, didn't, didn't gain a ton. Four levels. Oh, no, wait, that actually gained 12 levels. Yeah, very nice. Even grabbed one on Ninja. I know he had 40,050 to go, and we'll see what the split was. But that was a really nice round of HBM. Wow. Like 60 grand a hero. And the, I, I believe the only reason that one was even close and it came down to the epic battle of Dragon versus Dino was the split on wave one because it killed my absorption troops on both sides that hurt so from there you saw spirit made proking that's what hit pumpkin duke if i have pumpkin duke and j5 i mean it's a walk in the park so i'm sure or i'm hoping no i don't even have a hero trials pretty much done then so that's really a quick assessment that's what i'm going to do to get this might title and i'm curious how long this is right now okay so it's under 20 minutes it's not too bad i know this is not the most exciting video it's something i don't even know if i'm gonna make it public i will put it on facebook and it's just something to kind of show you my process of how i'm gonna gain the might to bring this up to archduke because everybody wants that nice pretty gold title right yeah all right, so on the next one, well, you'll see more might, more game modes, some hero expeditions, but this is a full beast my base, and I cannot wait to get it on. All right, guys, Sam's having out.